welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and this is my precious journey. Uh, today I'm pretty lucky. I just did a video on my yarnery. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, it's it's an old house. We redid downstairs and we just kind of, you know, did a little bit upstairs, but you know, it's mine and I enjoy it and I love my husband for it. Um, I didn't want to sound like I was bragging and, and showing off all my yarn. I am really, really lucky to have all this. Um, my husband think it's wonderful that I get to enjoy this and he thinks it's wonderful that I have a YouTube channel to talk about my yarn because I think he's pretty sick of it and I, think, I see him kind of fade away when I start talking about yarn but yeah I, nobody really likes I have no friends that do crochet or knitting or anything my daughter I've been teaching her a little bit and she's 30 and she enjoys it, but she doesn't have time to do it. She has a full-time job. She's got a new boyfriend. Boyfriend has three kids. So she ended up making the kids each a baby, uh, not a baby blanket, but a little throw. So she really enjoyed that. That was during lockdown. So there was not, I sit her down and say, look, just work on this. So yeah, she's enjoying it. So I get to teach her a little bit. So yeah, I wasn't bragging. I just... I'm just so lucky and thankful and I want to share it I want to talk and I want to learn more now today speaking of learning I want to know about burl hooks I am a pencil holder so I uh, don't know if the burl hooks will be good for me I am a big fan of clover hooks I love the way they feel I love the finishing on the metal of the hooks and I like prim hooks too. I use that for my cotton a lot. And they're kind of shaped like burl hooks. Now I've done a lot of research about burl hooks and watch a lot of tutorials about them, but it's always about knife holders. And I'm a pencil holder. So it would be nice if you let me know if you're a pencil or a knife holder and what hooks you use and what hooks you enjoy using. For the longest time I was just using like I've been crocheting for almost 20 years now and I only have used, I think it was like no name brands, I don't even think they were Boyle or Susan Hooks, I, Su Susan Bates, sorry, Susan Bates. Now I have used Susan Bates, but, and I did enjoy them and I did use the bamboo ones at one point in time, I just gave them away just recently, um, one of Chantel's friends of learning how to crochet and she had a hook from the dollar store and I said well just give her these so maybe those will help her I mean I, I used them for 20 years but I found that my hand was cramping up a lot with them so I never used them anymore and when I got the the clover hooks I was so excited like they were wonderful so yeah but I want to try the furl hooks they're beautiful hooks absolutely beautiful and I just think it's ridiculous be a shame if I didn't try a beautiful hug so yeah, let me know what you think about that and let me know what hooks you use and what type of grip you have do you have a pencil or a knife yes so I like to say today too I, I'm very lucky today I get to shoot two videos today they won't be up on the same day but my daughter gets to stay stay at home for a bit to help me and she's gonna she's filming it she makes me feel pretty comfortable and I don't get so nervous when I have her around we uh, a little bit about my daughter she's almost 30 and she is a wonderful kid a little spoiled she's my only child I had her when I was very young I was 16 when I had her so we had a little pr tough go at it for a while but uh, she's, uh, she turned out pretty good. She works full time. She, uh, what more can you ask? They work, right? She works full time. She's got a new boyfriend. Uh, he has three kids. So um, yeah, that's exciting for her. I don't know if it would be exciting for me, but that's exciting for her. That's just more money at Christmas, I think. <laughs> I'm a huge Christmas fan, so they'd have to be pretty spoiled. And, I think that's where I went wrong with her she's pretty spoiled so when you only have one child they think 
I thought that she should have everything and she pretty much did. So yeah, that's enough about her. She's So yes, anyways, I'm pretty lucky she's here filming for me. It's just uh, me and her and the dogs today. Um, as you can see, I have Miss Bella here. She likes to be under the blanket. I did mention that in my last video. She's uh, She's got a lot of anxiety. And I have Mr. Bubba here too. That's my daughter's baby and he likes to hang around in here too. He doesn't shed so I don't worry about the fur with him so much. And yeah, that's why I keep my yarn all in plastic. Uh, dog fur around here and I do have well my husband owns uh, a 140 pound dog he's uh, he likes to sleep a lot during the day and he gets wild when my husband gets home so we don't see much of him during the day and he, he likes to be outside and that's a good spot for him when you know he's so big so yeah that's about it today I just uh, wanted to pop in and you know once I have her I thought it would be great just to get this other video up or at least done and she can edit before she goes away this weekend yeah with floral hooks because I'm pretty sure oh and I want to also mention I'm from Canada and Joanne's is finally shipping to Canada found out today I'm really excited I put a little order in that I haven't put it straight in. I'm talking to my husband about it tonight and see what he thinks. I want to get the Joanne, the actual Joanne yarn, um, the big twist and uh, the KC yarn. I'm really excited about the KC yarn. And uh, in my order, I put a, a couple in for give, make sure I got a couple for you guys, for giveaways. But uh, I will, uh, I haven't put it in, but I've been working on it. It takes me a couple days to do an order. I want, because after I put the, you know, payment in and everything, I'm like, oh, should have got that. So I like to, like, think about it. It takes me a couple days, especially with ice. It could take me up to two or three weeks to make an order up. It's it's crazy. And and after I put the order in, oh, I should have got this. Oh, I should have got that. But, you know, this is what it is. I never think, and I get too excited, and I just hit the button. So I like to talk to it, talk through it with my husband, and it helps me think. Oh, maybe this, maybe that. So, anyways, here I am blabbing again. So I just want to let you let you go. I'm gonna drink my coffee, and uh, hope you have a good weekend, a good day. I don't. This will be up on Saturday, I think. You have a good day. Bye.